Welcome back to the Uncle Mike YouTube channel. And today, come on over here real quick. I'll show you what I was getting ready out here in the garage. You see that box right there? Come in, come on. You're watching the Uncle Mike YouTube channel. Stick around. So let's go ahead and show you what's in this box. Now you can see the Tahoe in the background. It's probably for the Tahoe. It ain't nothing that crazy, it's just some brakes. But, some power stop, evolution, something like that. What we got? What are these? I think carbon fiber ceramic pads, that's what they were. Oh, they sent some brake grease. Watch out, brake caliper grease. Mounts, bushings. I ain't never got a pet set of pads that come with some new seals on it. That's interesting. Full set of pads right there. Let's take a look at these rotors. I think that's front and one rear. I don't really know. One, one rotor was really big. Yeah, it's got to be one front, one rear. Or I just got something completely wrong. Or it's got a small rotor or a small small brake pad for one side. Now, that is real. Okay. Let me, make, let me just look again. Okay. Cut it off. It's on. Right. So we're out here in the garage. We've got some Tahoe in here. Uh, mainly that's just because where it lives. But we got this box here. Let's take a look what we got. We got some power stop brakes. Amazon special. Anyhow, we got a set of front pads. Now this hardware, I ain't never got a set of uh, brake pads that come with new dust boots for the guys. Some brake grease. Cool, cool, cool. Let's look at these rotors. Let's see what they're all about here. Come on. Get in this thing one time, huh? Nice set of rotors, drilled and slotted. Let me see this camera. This thing already has slotted rotors up front, but the back pads are totally toast and the rotors are grooved up. I could have got them turned, yes, but I decided not to because I picked up this whole set here for like 250 bucks. So I'll just throw a whole new set of brakes on it and call it a day.
So let me just throw this in there real quick. I was gonna just do a full time lapse on it. Whenever you're compressing your brake calipers to, or your pistons in your brake caliper to fit your new brakes, I need to change that fluid out anyhow, but not a big deal, I'll do it in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of this fluid out of here because if I had to compress any more of these calipers, they will, or it will, overflow this reservoir. So let me go ahead and pull some fluid out. Now you can have the brakes done on a Tahoe, pretty much almost any car, almost any car, in about 45 minutes if you've done it a bunch, changed a lot of brakes, I should say, and if you're familiar with the vehicle. So this job here took me about 50 minutes, but I was filming, moving the camera and whatnot, getting the daggone uh, floor jacks out the way, or jack stands, whatever you call them wherever you want to call them. Now every time when you fire up one of these things after you do the old brakes on them, make sure you pump them brakes because you go to start driving this thing and it has no brakes, you want to talk about getting a little a little pucker factor, that'll give it to you. So make sure you pump them brakes a couple times and make sure everything's good. So these power stop brakes here, they actually give you a break in period what they call it and um, I've always called it burning in pads so to get it out there just up to some speed heavy braking heavy braking moderate braking and then just drive it around and look at this they got it on the box for you five aggressive decelerations 40 to 10 five moderate decelerations 35 to 5 drive for five minutes and cool her on down well that ain't what I wanted We'll get it out on the road now and we'll see what she does. Go ahead and put a little receiver hitch on this old girl. And run a winch through it. And scrap the receiver hitch off. He got stuck. We tried winching it, but we was at too harsh of an angle, so we just pulled it out a little bit. We're gonna straighten it up right. He swung mud all up in that truck, tore the grass up. But we're gonna straighten up the trailer a little bit, the shed to the trailer, see what it'll do. similar site here old shed on top of the old trailer and my exhaust rattle so I just treated these chickens to some stale bread broke it up best I could with one hand I was holding some eggs but I should have just set the eggs down four eggs today actually five because I got well they must have had laid that one last night or first thing this morning I got one out of there this morning when I cleaned out the hen, or the pen, or the chicken coop, whatever you want to call the dang thing. And then I just brought this bread out here. Got four more fresh ones. Not bad. They be putting them down. Rooster's starting to get some back tail feathers. Come on. 